It's called the Hummer. It's a one of a kind and is being billed as the world's most serious off-highway vehicle. From the sands of the Persian Gulf to the showrooms of America, for the first time, a civilian version. First time, one to call your own. Now, at a dealer near you, the new American legend. Well, it started in the late 70s. The U.S. Army came up with a performance requirement, not what the vehicle would look like, but what they wanted it to do. It had to have a certain amount of ground clearance, be able to climb certain slopes, carry a certain load, so many people fit in certain aircraft, not be taller than but uh, or wider than a certain thing. That dictated sort of the envelope of the vehicle, and then they wanted certain performance characteristics to include real strength, durability, long life. Uh, there were three companies that competed to meet that requirement, and we were one of them, and we won in uh, 1983. The Hummer was actually designed by our engineers uh, in late 1979, in a very short period of time, from a blank piece of paper. It isn't an evolution or an adaptation of any existing thing. It's really a revolutionary. The design of the chassis is unlike anything else on the face of the earth. Prices in simple terms are in the 50s. Uh, the pickup truck version without anything on it is 46550 that's the manufacturer's suggested retail price and if you get the wagon the one behind me with everything on it i think it's a hair over 60. most of the models and option prices range in somewhere in the 50s we described the cruising speed as 65. You know, on a nice day without a heavy load you may almost be able to hit 80 uh, although of course that would be speeding but uh, it'll cruise at 65 all day long uh, it's not a vehicle that's intended to be a long distance highway cruiser, but most people are startled at how smoothly it rides and how well it handles. Uh, it's got independent suspension on all four wheels, power steering, power brakes, automatic transmissions, very easy to drive. The power comes from a General Motors 6.2 liter V8 diesel engine, three speed automatic transmission. Uh, there's a two speed transfer case, torque sensing differentials front and rear, so it's a full time four wheel drive vehicle. It's, it's really unique characteristics come from the amazing ground clearance. There's 16 inches clear under the vehicle, no differential humps, no axles, uh, tremendous wheel travel with the independent suspension, tremendous power to the wheels from the diesel power plant. This for us as a company is, is a real adventure. We can't steal anybody's clothes. It's so different from any other vehicle that we really have to kind of write the book about what the market for this vehicle is, what the uses are. We're trying to teach the world what the vehicle will do. We know that the world will teach us that there are applications for it that we haven't dreamed of.